Hello, everyone. Oh, hey, first time chat from a viewer from Ryu the Kicksblade. Hi, I'm the Black Mage of 8-Bit Theater. Oh, well, hey, how are you? Good to have you here, and I see that uh, Elonite 815 went ahead and uh, resubscribed, and cheers to that, Elonite. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for the shirt, yeah. I actually bought this shirt at a... Um, my retro game store down the road from me had a, um, a sidewalk sale, and um, the everything on the sidewalk was two dollars and fifty cents. Hey, Ban, how are you? So I did pick up a, quite a lot of stuff from the sidewalk sale, and um, I am gonna do a video on the various things that I did pick up, but. This shirt is one thing that I grabbed and nobody else wanted it. Oh my god! Serena Vox subscribed at tier 3 to subscribe for six months on a six month streak. Cheers, Serena Vox. Half a year. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're also King Dragon Fang on YouTube. Well, yay! Cheers! So, this shirt, let me show it to you. This shirt, it's Kirby and it has like all the little Kirby power-ups and little magic food and all that and it's like in a little star it's super cute this Kirby shirt it must have been at like the bottom of this box or something because it was disgusting it was like brown like dirt and just grodiness and like you know it was like clinging dust off of it it was disgusting but I saw it and I was like, oh, it's 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 Kirby, you know? Like, come on, it's Kirby. You gotta do you gotta get some Kirby. And you've gotta get a hype train! Cheers, Daddy Band, gifting three tier one subs to the community that gifted 16 subs in the channel. Cheers, Daddy Band, cheers. So so yeah, I grabbed the shirt and I saw this other guy's face next to me and he goes like Ooh. And I was just like, it's Kirby, how could you, you know, it's Kirby, come on now, so. <laughs> Cheers, Nibling, subscribed at tier one for a six month streak. Cheers, Nibling. Yeah, so, um, so I grabbed that, and I also, I'll give you a little preview of some things that I grabbed 
all for $2.50. A little preview. Can you guys see that? $2.50. $2.50. So, yeah. Um, I got some pretty nice stuff. I don't know why they're like so faded out like this, but $2.50. As well as uh, some other stuff that I got, which is all in a pile right over there. Um, so, yeah. Hey, Daddy Hoff. We are in the middle of a hype train right now. And, uh, yeah, I am going to get all of this stuff set up. And I guess it was a window display. I don't really know. Like, there was some other worn out shit. I don't want to show everything right now because I do want to keep some stuff for the uh, video. But, like, this is a really old Game Genie book um, that they had. And it looks like it was, like, water damaged or something. I don't know. Um, the cover, as you can see, is kind of falling off, but I don't really care. It's, it's, this is something that I had growing up. It was $2.50 freaking cents, for God's sakes. So, like, how could you say no to this? You know what I mean? Um, and you know what I actually opened this up to? It says, if you can read it, it says, Iron Man, it says, Ivan Iron Man, Stewart, super off-road game, Iron Man. <laughs> I just figured I'd show that off. Okay, anyway. So, um... Let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off and get the game. Whoa! And, uh, well, hold on a second. How many... How many Tier 1 subs did you just gift? It doesn't even... It doesn't tell me. Ten! Ten! Ten Tier 1 subs, Eagle Knight! Holy crap! Cheers, Eagle Knight, and cheers, and thank you for the ten tier one subs. Cheers. As I, as I drip, <laughs> as I drip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 10 tier one subs. Wow. That's uh, that's great. Oh, we have a shirt rip, a shirt rip already. I'm dripping. I know I'm dripping the Hoff gifting five tier one subs. Think community. The Hoff has now gifted 267 subs to the channel. Cheers, Daddy Hoff. Cheers again to Eagle Knight. Cheers to all y'all. Cheers to all y'all. Cheers. Again, I do shirt rips after. I do shirt rips after hype trains are over. So I guess we can go ahead and st we will get two shirts in a row. But I do them after it's all over. Um, we're at two shirt rips right now. Is that what's happening right now? Because holy moly goly. Uh, man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Daddy Ban! Gifting three tier one subs to the channel. They've gifted 19 subs in the channel thus far. Cheers, Daddy Ban. Cheers. And that ends the can. And that ends. Now I'm at two. Okay, now I'm at two short ropes. We have to wait till the hype trim's over. But something I want to show you guys, and we'll do this right now. Um, <clears throat> we talked about the bestiary and other things, but the bestiary is actually really cool. Not only can you go through and you can look at these various, you know, monsters and see their stats and what they drop and blah, 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 blah. But this is the cool part. You go into display map. And you can see where all these enemies appear on the map. So you can literally see where they are. You can look at the little chaos shrine here. And then it will show you what other enemies are appearing inside of the various dungeons. So you can see all the things down here in Provoca, all this. Um, however, if you're at a place that you haven't yet been to yet, like this is part of... Uh, I guess this is like south, south of Provoca, and it has these guys right here. But over here is kind of the Crescent Lake region. And look, we don't know what's here in the Crescent Lake region. So you're going to see some question marks there. Whoa, Serena Vox is gifting how many? 
It doesn't tell me how many, how many, 10 tier one subs to the channel. Virtual of 563 subs in the channel. 563 subs in the channel. Cheers, Serena Vox. We're at shirt number three. <laughs> Choosing a thousand bits. Cheers, Serena Vox. Cheers. Whew. Woo, 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 woo. Man, so I just wanted to show you that. The little bestiary thing that we have right here. And uh, let's go ahead and load up our game. I know. I know, I'm gonna be hammered before I even start. Like, come on. Good lord. Okay, so we made our way into Melmond, which is a terrorized town and everything. Oh, oh, well, thanks, Luna Keyblade, for coming on in. I'm glad that you came into the stream. Glad that you, um... But you're gonna leave before the shirt rips happen. We have three shirt rips to do. Three shirt rips to do. Uh, as you can see, this town is disgusting. <laughs> it's a, it, it is in shambles. That's all we can do. That's all we can say. Oh, by the way, has volume. I didn't talk about volume. Has volume. Is the volume good? It sounds good to me. Has volume. You're good. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Um. Oh, we get a long sword. Which might be a good upgrade for. Well. No. We're going to be getting a lot of better stuff. Like, we got the Worm Killer last time. We're going to be getting a lot of kind of interesting new swords and stuff. So we don't need to worry about buying swords. Ugh. Um, okay, got that. Helmet. Copper armlet. Sell those. Dagger. Sell all this crap. I probably should have sold this crap off screen, but whatever. Wow, this power staff's so expensive. Okay. Oh, perfect. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we have three shirt rips to do after the last hype train. So let's go ahead and do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much um, for everybody's donations and everything else. I really do highly, highly, highly appreciate it. If you want to choose the shirt color, now is the time to use that particular channel reward. So let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Choo-choo, bitches, choo-choo! Black. Oh, no, black was in graphics. Oh, wonder what it says. <laughs> what does this say? Triple crown still? Okay. It says... Triple Crown Sports Parade of Lights, Lake Havasu, Arizona. And then on the back, it has, I guess, these various... Oh, okay, this is like teams. This is some sort of some sort of baseball team or something. And I guess they didn't like their baseball team. And they were like, screw you, I want to rip you. So. <laughs> so they donated the shirt, and here we are. Think of the children, want someone? Think of the children! I'll be thinking of the children as I rip this shirt to shreds! Hey, Daddy Jimmy! How are you? We're ripping three shirts, we just had a hype train. Let's start with the number one, Parade of Lights. <sighs> oh! <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there it goes. Okay. One nice, nice shirt. That's shirt number one. Boop. Now it's time for number two. I know. Man. That's why I didn't say that we're going to be the Earth Crystal and the Fire Crystal. Because I was like, we'll at least get to Crescent Lake. I mean, we'll get somewhere. <laughs> we'll get somewhere in Crescent Lake. <sighs> Let's see, number two. Here we are. Oh! This is actually one of my shirts. I am Daddy Jimmy. Boop. 
got it right there. I am. Shirt rips are always just something fun. This shirt right here, oh, it's backwards. This shirt right here is a shirt that I bought at Kohl's like 10 something years ago. And it's just, I don't, I just don't like it anymore. So I figured, eh, I'll throw it in the rip pile, whatever. <laughs> Why not? Just let everybody see the little shirt as it gets ripped. Uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, it's like a city, cityscape with the road going to it or whatever. Whoa, Daddy Jimmy! Cheers, Jimmy! Cheers! And thank you. This is a nice, good, long rip. Huh. Good lord. Huh. Time for number three. Oh, my slipper fell off and I can't have cold feet. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. The most difficult shirt to rip was obviously the golden glittery shirt. Uh because it actually cut the palm of my hand, the little, the little things. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. The sequins, yes. What do we have? Red. There is a lime green in there. It's right here. Teasing, y'all. It's right there. <laughs> This just looks like a normal, everyday, average, red shirt. Nothing, uh... Blood red, yes, as I destroy it and rip it to smithereens. <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see. This one's inside. It's not a bad shirt. I mean, for like 50 cents at the Salvation Army, it's not a bad shirt, you know? It's just... Oh, right down the center, perfect. It's just... Plain. I know, it's just... Plain. God, it looks like a dress now. It just looks like one of those like tube dresses that women wear. Man. Ah. <sighs> Cheers, Jimmy, he says. I've been feeling like shit, but I did my COVID test. Negative. Congratulations, Daddy Jimmy. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to being healthy. Cheers. Oh. oh, 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 okay. Now, <sighs> Ken got his test, he went out today at, um, uh, 12.30, and he got his test, and he's not gonna know the results until later, though. He's not, probably not gonna know for a couple of days, um, what exactly his results are. So, yeah. Whew. Okay, don't need any anything there. Oh, another achievement. Smart saver. Oh my gosh. Between all the drinking and then the shirt ripping, it's like, huh. Yeah, he did the free CVS one, like the drive through CVS one. Well, we don't think that he is COVID, but because he's not feeling very well, we would rather be safe than sorry and just, you know, double check. Uh, what do I want to get? I'm gonna get... I almost feel like I shouldn't get life, 
because I can buy Phoenix Downs here. Like, Phoenix Downs are a thing in this game, and I have three of them, and they only cost 500 gold. So I'm thinking that I'm going to buy the Diarrhea instead, I'll buy the Kiraga, and I'll buy the Hilara instead. Yeah, there's, I mean, better, better be safe than sorry. Better be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Um, I'm gonna get a Faraga by Teleport. Oh, he can't learn, a oh, Black Wizard can learn Teleport. Where's Drinker Juice? Okay. You know what, we bought these things. This is called the Nestle Splash, and it's Mandarin Orange flavored, it's water? but it's mandarin orange flavored water, and it is yummy. Mm. Mm. They are so good, I know. They're so good, Eagle Knight, they're so good. There's lemon ones, there's raspberry ones, there's all sorts of different ones, but they are amazing. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, let's get out of here. You steal them from your mother's place. <laughs> like, they're really good. Okay, I already went to the, uh, Weapon shop here. Let's see. What do we got going on? Ah, more ruined towns. Huh, ships floating in the sky. Good, I'm glad that I'm corrupting him with the power of the yumsity bumsity. Yes. <laughs> oh, what can I do? I could buy some silver armlets, great homes to gloves. I don't. Now, this knight armor is really nice, but it's really expensive. But again, 20% off of what it used to be. Uh, I'm only going to buy one silver armlet just for the white mage there for Serena. Yeah, from 6 to 17 defense. Daddy Hoff still has no equipment. He is still running around naked, as well he should be. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me look. Do I need to use the N? I'm actually good on... Oh, no, wait. I have some level 2 charges that I probably should need to use the N. Nakey, Nakey, here comes Snakey. It's Dr. Oon. There's nothing that I, the great genius Dr. Oon, do not know. Inconceivable! On the Devil's Tail. Okay, so it's the vampire who's decaying the power of the earth. Now, one thing to note, there is no item shop here. There is no clinic here. So if you die, you're screwed. And you have to go all the way back to Canaria. So try not to die. Yeah, but where's the ribbon tied around? Is Hoff tying the ribbon around his forehead? Or is he tying it around somewhere else. Just something to think about. <clears throat> or something. <laughs> That's where I was going, Bluey. That's where I was going. But I was trying to be a little bit more, uh... I don't know. What's the word? <laughs> a little bit more obscure about it, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna Black Mage Theo. A giant's cave. Hey! None shall pass! That sucks. Um, get some of these guys. Do I want to waste a... Let's not waste it, because these guys are easy. There's just a lot of them. There's just a lot of them. <laughs> Nibling. Nibling's going right there. Right there. Yeah. Leave it to him. I, I, <clears throat> I used to think that Nibling was the worst, if you know, but Bluey has been giving him a run for his money lately. <clears throat> okay, let's get out of here. I just came in here for flavor, I guess. Um, yeah, easy enough. We've been fighting these guys for quite a bit of time now. We should be fine. Although Daddy Hoff... Daddy Hoff, you once again have the least amount of HP for my party. Jeff the Black Mage is, uh, 
having more HP than you. It's very upsetting to me. Ah, shit! Now he's paralyzed! But look at Serena! The queen... The queen, as usual, has the most HP. It's This is art imitating life. She has more HP. Oh, shit! Everybody's paralyzed. What is going on here? Well, Serena's carrying the party, as usual. Um... She has the most HP, more HP than the frickin' fighter. And it's just like, it, it is. Like, the stat gains, they're so unusual. Let's see. Um, I'm going to save on that. Do I have... I only have three potions. I'm going to the Earth Cave with three potions. I I need to go to an item shop. This is... I'm so dumb. Okay, whatever. Let's just save. We'll be fine. I like this. I like... I like the kind of flute instrumental thing that they have going on here with the music. Now, over here on the right-hand side, or the left-hand side, is the Hall of Giants. Ah, Jeffrey Kaiser! Cheers! Subscribe to Cheer 1 to subscribe for five months. Cheers, Daddy Jeffrey. That's the Hall of Giants. You'll always encounter giants every single freaking step over there, so I'm not going to worry about it because I am just going to... I, I, I don't need to grind, you know. I I don't need to grind. So I'm not going to worry about it. And besides, as you guys saw, I am very low on items and other things. I probably should go to Canaria before fighting Lich. What do you mean the Hall of Giants doesn't exist? Is the Hall of Giants taken out of this version of the game? I'm going to walk over there just to see. Okay, you guys proved me wrong. I need to go over there just to see. And fight Earth Elementals! I'm gonna use fire! Oh, they were just curious about that. Gotcha. Um, yeah, just... There we go. Let's see. Put that there. I mean... They did get rid of the Peninsula of Power, so maybe they got rid of the Hall of Giants, too? You know? Who knows? Oh, shoot! Jeff is still casting fire! Damn it. Don't poison me, bro! They actually did poison me. Yeah, that's what's happened last time. He kept on casting Fira. Let's go check out the Hall of Giants and see what's going on here. Whoa! Ooh! Naked Minotaurs along with Naked Hoff. Oh my. They do kind of look like gay minotaurs in the little fuchsia outfit and everything. But I, I'm not minding it. I'm not minding it. I'm liking it. Let's see. Cure them up. Probably should... S oh! Look at this! So you don't have a hall of giants! Instead you have other monsters hanging out here that you can fight. Isn't that interesting? Let's write that down on my long list of changes. This is Hall of Giants different with NPCs. Yeah, it's a new Hall of Giants. Man. Oh, and I missed the Faraga. I missed seeing it. And we'll see it against the vampire. Not that big of a deal. Oh, but they leave! They literally leave! Wow. Huh. Uh, we'll, do, we'll use another Faraga. I might just leave here and use a tent or something and restore MP. Or, I think I have, um... I think I have ethers, though. So that's good. Nice. Nice Faraga there. Nice Faraga. Love the animation. 
So yeah, it used to be it was literally every single step you would get kind of stuck in the middle of the Hall of Giants doing that. But they've changed that now, as you can see. <laughs> I wonder if Ivermectin works on Minotaurs. Only horses! Not Minotaurs, not humans, only horses. I have to wonder, so after doing this, and once we do hit Crescent Lake, we have three different dungeons that we can go to, and we can take, um, we can take them in really any order that we want to. There is an order that I prefer to take them in, but once we hit Crescent Lake, I might put a poll up and see what you guys want me to do. We shall see. Yeah. Uh, I need to use an antidote. The problem, Parasophilus Z, is that you have to... You would have to do Ordeals and Ice Cave, then get the class upgrade, then do Volcano. I used to do that, too. I used to do that, too, because... I always thought that Carry the Fiend of Fire was always pretty, pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Whoa! One HP! David survived with one freaking HP! Holy crap! Damn! All that for a potion. All that for a freaking potion. My god. Uh, let's use this Hilara. Ooh, that actually healed up quite a bit. That wasn't bad at all. Yeah, I, I completely agree, Nylon. Thank you for bringing me over there, because I was really, I was honestly just going to skip it. Because I was just like, uh, you know, it's the Hall of Giants, I don't really need to grind, blah, blah, blah. But thank you for pointing that out to me. Because I do want to, I mean, I have a very long list of changes that I have wrote down so far um, of all the various changes that I've noticed. You guys can probably read it in big screen. Yeah, I don't mind the charge system. I really don't. It's a hell of a lot better than the magic system in Final Fantasy 2. Ugh. I have to wonder if they kept the charge system in Final Fantasy 3. I wonder... I, I wonder... Oh! No. Let's actually use your pure spell. Where is... There it is. We have charge of that, so we might as well use the DM thing. Yikes! Poor Daddy Hoff! I should put Serena in slot 2. I think I am. They did? They kept the charge system? I kind of like it. I don't like it like it, but it's, 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 it's just a nice throwback, I guess. It's not terrible. <clears throat> She's the most powerful one! She's the most powerful frickin' one, so of course you have to put her in slot two. She's more powerful than Daddy Hoff running around naked. Uh, Jessica. That's what I should I should have named her Jessica. But no, it works. It works. We got Jeffrey Kaiser, we got Daddy Hoff, we got Mistress Serena. Double BDE. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's use a, um... Stores Party's HP and MP. Let's use that. <clears throat> bong, bong, bong.
Oh, you know what? Let's actually go out here and let's uh, let's use, let's save to just in case. I don't think I'm gonna die to the. Uh... Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? The trolls. The trolls are undead. We could use diarrhea on them, and that'll save some fire. This bitch fled. Don't run from me. Urgh. Yikes! Oh shoot! I didn't want to use diarrhea again. Damn it! Damn it, Serena! Oh, they're not undead? It missed? I thought the trolls were undead. Whoa! The Hoff gifted a tier one sub to Travis Miller's lab. Cheers, Travis. And uh, or cheers, Daddy Hoff. Gifted 268 subs in the Chen All Cheers. Ah, uh, I guess so. I guess so. Just weak to fire. Check out this map. Um, as I recall, there's nothing. Oh no, there is a room down there. Whoa! Daddy Jimmy! Daddy Jimmy gets a shirt rip and a shot. Boop. Back to big screen. Back to big screen. Shot, 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 shots. Everybody. Oh, Jimmy. At least I have my good water. I have my good water that I can down it with. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. This is the sluttiest Final Fantasy run ever. Cheers to being sluts. I can totally drink to that. Fantasy content. Surprise! Hey, DG Synchroman. Glad that you're here. He made me take a shot and he made me rip a shirt, so. Welcome to the party. <laughs> I promise we are playing Final Fantasy. I promise we are. And I don't have some Johnny come lately doing it either. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know how to play these games. Green! Green! Did it? Cool. What are we doing on Law and Order? Don't worry. This is what does this say? California. Oh, it's like a bike riding thing. So this is some sort of bike riding shirt. It says it's really difficult to read. It's extraordinarily. Let me see if I can't get it better. It's extraordinarily difficult to read, but it says like California bike riding 100 miles, 160 kilometers. So this is some sort of um, marathon bike riding something or other in California. You know, so. Anyway, I am an original girl. Thank you, Daddy Man. I played Final Fantasy One back on the NES when it first came out. Whenever I was in third grade, I believe I was in third grade whenever I first played this game. When it first came out on the NES, but here. I hear it ripping. I hear it ripping. Fucking rip, you piece of. Oh, there's the rip. You gotta hear that rip. You gotta find the rip. Almost. Almost. There's some rips down here. That one out. Go. Perfect. This one's like all the way down here. I won't actually... Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> it's... Ah! Oh, there we go! Oh my. There we go! Oh my. There we go. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my. I mean, I still have oh my. my Nintendo Power Strategy Guide. I still have that little... 
That little gem. Hey, Ultima Cloud. That's always a party here. For those of you who have just walked in or just joined the stream and have no clue what is going on or who I am, my name's David. I run a YouTube channel called David Vink, and uh, I talk about all sorts of RPGs on that YouTube channel. A lot of Dragon Quest, a lot of Final Fantasy, just literally all sorts of RPGs. So if you want to type in exclamation point YouTube, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can follow me there. I actually put out a top 10 list today of the top 10 uh, PlayStation 1 hidden gems. So yeah, I'm out of breath now. Did I do it wrong? There it is, perfect. I knew it was one of those. There it is. There's the YouTube. Thank you, Daddy Cough. Okay, where am I going? I have the- I literally have the magazine map in front of me, and I'm not using it, because I'd rather just use the in-game maps. I'm actually really liking it, Ultima Cloud. I really am. I, I wanted to... I kind of wanted to... rip the game a new one the entire time, and be like... What a fucking cash grab. What a piece of shit. You could just play the PSP version. Why would you bother playing this? Blah, 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 blah. But... I... Uh, I kind of think that they're worth the money. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. I've got to say. I didn't think I would, but here we are. Yikes! Yikes! Ugh. Get your attacks in. Attack Serena, she has so much HP. My god. I'm gonna use... What are they weak to? Are they weak to... I think, I think that they're weak to fire. I'm pretty sure they're weak to fire. Hey! Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I went down the wrong way. That's where the door is. Let's go back this way. I know the diagonal movement is nice, the remastered music, like, <clears throat> there's a lot of positives. Hey, first time chat for you, Shadow the Hedgehog. Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remastered had one flaw, no window color change, but outside of that, it is great. Okay, cool. We are going through on the channel, on the Twitch, and we are playing all of the, um... I want to say we'll use Blizzard. Um, we are playing all of the Pixel Remasters, back to back to back to back to back. So once we finish this, we're going to play Final Fantasy 2. And then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6. And then I might maybe be convinced to play the other ones. I don't know. I don't know. But by that point, I'd probably also be kind of, like, over it. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Ah, uh, that's true. Golden Sun Lost Age. I could go back to that. That is very true. We'll put up a poll. Oh, this asshole! So much for no monster tiles! They still kind of have monster tiles. But they put them... But they do this. <clears throat> So it's not that they don't have monster tiles, it's, it's, they're done differently, I'm gonna say that. Um, Earth, Cave, Monster, Tile, and PC. Okay. But I guess having a monster tile there is better than having three chests that have monsters in them. Oh shit. Serena! Heal yourself! <clears throat> yeah, Dragon Quest. There's an idea. There's an idea. So many ideas. Th th that's the thing. Like, I was actually talking to my mother about this whenever she found out. A couple of months back, she found out that I was streaming and 
the YouTubing and all that kind of stuff. And, um... <clears throat> and then she was like, aren't you ever gonna, like, run out of games? You know? And I guess that that could be, like, a legitimate question. But honestly, like... No. I don't really see myself ever really running out of games to play. Because, like... Uh, there's just so many, and they keep on coming out, and I just have such love for so many different games. And there's also, like, I don't mind playing stuff like Mega Man, or Mario, or things like that. Although I do mind playing Gun Near, because that game sucks, William Boo. Not a fan. Not really a fan of any of the Apartment Heaven stuff, to be quite honest with you. I've talked about my disdain for Department he for Department Heaven before. Ooh, a Coral Sword. I mean, that's the thing, Dance Man Leo. I know. No matter what you do, you're never gonna get to the backlog. My god, I could sit here and stream something like Final Fantasy IX. Or, F hell, Final Fantasy XII. Like, that'll take me a lifetime. Like, holy shit, you know? What do we got here? Okay, the Coral Sword. So I guess the Worm Killer is the, still the best thing to have. Effective against dragons, aquatic spellcasters, beasts. Okay. I'm gonna say that's still the best one to have. Let's use... No, heal. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to walk out of this cave, too. What a pain in the ass. Hey, I didn't say that I don't like Final Fantasy XII. I just said that it would take me forever. Hey, Shine with Dark. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't stream something like an MMO. Um, I feel like that would just kind of take over my life. So I just, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mind playing it, but I wouldn't stream it. And I drank. Shine with dark, I drank. Oh, more of these guys. I have the old one, which I've played through all the way. I've beaten I've beaten the PlayStation 2 version. This thing keeps on popping. And then I have the um the Zodiac job one. And, um, I played through a bit of the Zodiac job one. I didn't, I didn't play through, like, I didn't beat the game of the Zodiac job one, but I played through a good ten or so hours of it. Whoa! That was my drink to Daddy Hoff. Gifting a tier one sub, Shine With Dark. They've gifted 269 subs in the channel. Thank you, Daddy Hoff, and cheers. <clears throat> Man, that's the best part, having the fast forward. Like, for real. Like, having this thing with fast forward, it's just... It's so nice. It's so nice with the fast forward. That's what I liked so much about Alliance Alive when I was playing that. Just being able to pass far with that. Raise your hands if you ever played Final Fantasy Legend 2. Or really any of the Final Fantasy Legend games, but just Final Fantasy Legend 2 in particular. The reason why I ask... Nothing over there. The reason why I ask is because... That, to me, was the first... Fuck! Um... Fuck. Oh, thank God! Oh, man! Come on. Please kill them, please kill them, please kill them! Yes! Oh, my God! Do I even have... Do I even have, like, golden needles or soft potion? I have one golden needle. Shit. Okay, so the reason why I ask about 
Final Fantasy Legend 2 is because, um, to me, that was probably the first game that I felt like I could actually fast forward through the battles. Um, because if you hold down the A button, like, the text just, it goes through, like, lightning speed. And then within two seconds, you're back at the next, uh, you're back at the next, you know, turn. So that's, so that, I, I always, move your fucking badass. Yikes. Uh-oh. And I'm ambushed. Choiced. And paralyzed. Choiced. Ugh. I know, I'm gonna have to go to, um, I dread the thought, but I'm gonna have to go back to Canaria and buy a shit ton of potions before going down to Lich, because there's no way. There's no way. Like, I'm barely making it to Vampire. There's literally nothing in there. I'm not, I'm not fighting you if there's nothing in there. Um, are these guys immune to physical attacks? Oh no, okay, perfect. It is Shadow Hedgehog, it really is. It is very, very well done. I like the, the flute, the orchestral theme. Like, I think it's really nice. This is a rare monster that we've seen, like, 20 times so far, <laughs> he's trainer AJ. I did not get turn undead, I got diarrhea. Um, yeah, just attack. <clears throat> he did, he did. Thank God you can buy potions in, uh... You can buy, like, a ton of potions, so you don't have to buy one at a time, like back on the NES. Oh, let's see, for healing. I only have these spells for healing. We'll use this, just in case. Okay. It's the vampire! Your seal cannot be broken, and the earth shall rot. Oh, cool. You cannot alter destiny. Does it tell me what he said in the NES version? It does not say what he said in the NES version, or else I would give you a comparison. Okay, uh, any diarrhea? I don't want to waste the diarrhea, though. Let's have y'all attack, and you can waste a piranha, though. Whoa, 276? Hell yeah! Whoa, we two-shotted him! In the NES version, he only had 156 HP. So, he probably got double HP in this version. <clears throat> yeah, he's weak to a Faraga. And we get the Ruby! Cool. <clears throat> oh, achievement money bags. I don't think that you have to check the, um... The... The thingamabopper. So I'm not gonna... The slab. So, I'm just gonna see about getting out of here, but I don't... I was hoping that we had warp or something, but you literally have... I guess I'll check just in case, but I don't think that you have to... Fuck! I didn't want to use Faraga! Shit, 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 shit! I wanted to save that Faraga for something better than this! I still have to walk out of this hellhole! Oh man. Ugh. All right, let's just attack. Thank you. Um, I feel like the random encounters aren't as often as the original. And not as hard, either. <clears throat> but also, our characters have been buffed a bit more. Um... And it seems like the enemies give off a lot more gold and experience and things like that, so that's probably why it's easier. Just the extra experience and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Man, Eagle Knight, if they place Mystic, if Mystic Quest gloves on this game, this game will be hard as hell. Y'all saw me play- Fuck! <laughs> Y'all saw me play Mystic Quest, and y'all saw how hard that game was. Shit! Come on. 
Okay, I have one gold needle. I have one gold needle. Thank God. Okay. Thank God. Hey! They gave me another gold needle! Sweet! Woohoo! Just in the nick of time, too. Okay. Bat! Fuck! That's the thing. Mr. Crap was crap with their paralysis and their stone and everything else, and it was like... Fuck! It was, it was, it was, it was constantly having to retry these, like, random battles. It was just driving me nuts, so... Please give me another golden needle. Hey! Perfect! Very nice. Seems like every time I need one, I'm getting one. In the NES version, they would stone all four of your party members, and it was... It was really crappy. Really freaking crappy the way that they would do that. But here it looks like they can attack a stone member and then miss. Whereas in the NES version, they couldn't attack the stone person. They would just move down to the next line. And then I think it was like a 50% chance of stoning them. It was something ridiculous. I don't become rocks hard at the sight of birds. No. Not birds. Become rock hard at the side of other things. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting tons of gold needles. Perfect. And also allowing them to drop gold needles and things like that. Like, I think it's great. Whoa! Shadow the Hedgehog is now following. Cheers, Shadow, and thank you for the follow. I certainly do appreciate everybody who follows and subscribes and everything else. You fucking bat! Get out of my damn way! Ugh. They do need to rebalance the HP growths, though. Like, how in the world does Serena have 150 more HP than Daddy Hoff? Like, how is this happening? What is going on here? And then Hoff is down there with Jeff as far as HP growth. It's really just... It's nonsensical. Let's use a Kiraga on her since she's my tank, apparently. Who knew? It does! Like, I, I know! That's, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. Art imitates life. Like, no kidding. Um... What do I have? I have Blizzara. We'll use Blizzara on these giants. I mean, you watch Serena on the Discord, and she's like number one in the little card trading game and everything else. You see her here on the Twitch, and she's constantly a stream boss, and here she is in the game. Massive amounts of HP. You should like go play the lottery or something, Serena. You have like the luck of the Irish, I'm telling you. But you do better naked, Daddy Hoff. We want you, Dick. Okay, we're finally out of here. My anaconda, don't. I'm kind of glad I didn't read out your highlighted message, Snipling. <laughs> that is, uh, that's science, yeah. There's facts, and there's alternative facts. And Nihiling prefers to use alternative facts, apparently. <laughs> Yikes! Do I have any diarrhea to use? Oh, but I want to save my heals. Um, do you have a Fira? I have a Firaga. Fuck that. Okay, let's just do it. Ugh. The HP is stored in the foreskin. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Y'all could be messy. So we're gonna go through the Giant's Tunnel and then hit Sardia's Cave. Then we're gonna go back to Canaria, buy a shit ton of items, because at this point you really do need 99 heal potions and all that crap. Um, so we're gonna do that.
next. <clears throat> you have Star Ruby? Give me Star Ruby and you shall pass. What did he say in the original version? I feel like he didn't. What did he say? Ah! He said, if you want to pass, give me the Ruby. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Mmm, it tastes so sweet. Rubies are my favorite. Pretty much, but there's, I don't know. There's just something about, like, the whole, like, crunch, crunch, crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Rubies are my favorite. It's just so janky. I don't know. It's just, like, it's just the charm, the charm of an old game, you know? Oh, yeah, treasure. Perfect. I knew there was treasure in one of these caves. Excellent. Oh, a great axe. A mithril helm. Let's check that out. Ooh, nice. What about this great axe? Decreases accuracy, but does increase attack power. There's no special attributes of it, though. I will take it. Anyway. <laughs> Daddy Ban is here to eat the lunch. Do you promise, Daddy Ban? I'll let you eat my lunch. I'll give you a protein-packed meal. Fit for a king. I need to stop. I'm so bad all the time. Stop. There was just something about... Oh my... Oh, oh Daddy Ben! Oh my... <laughs> Oh my. You can lick me clean. Ugh. Oh, even no pain, no gain. Okay. I'll do the no pain, no gain. Eh, in a minute. I kind of like to combine that with a, uh. with a shirt rip or something. But it doesn't look like a shirt rip coming up or anything, so. I'll go ahead and do the no pain, no gain. Right now, what this battle's going on. Ooh, okay. Where? There it is. I about to say, where's my thing? Here's my thing. My Kirby shirt. Inside, so you all can really see all of the pain. There we go. Theo, are you giving lessons on how to uh, do certain things? <laughs> oh god, if somebody kills Jimmy, he's gonna give me a shot. Please, kill Jimmy. Kill Jimmy. <laughs> kill that bitch. I don't think there's anything in here, no. I didn't think so. Hey, Wesley Bell, first time chat for a viewer. Thumbs up to you too. Ah. Take the staff, not the rod. Oh, now it's a rod. First it was a staff, now it's a rod. I prefer the rod. Nice, long, curved rod. So there's zero chests I already get the item, the Sarda's Rod, or whatever it's called, Earth Rod, whatever. Yes! Spoil the David! Yes! I agree, Daddy Ban. Spoil me, Daddy. Why are there imps here? What is happening? Why are there imps here? What is going on? I guess, like... I, I, I almost feel like they just didn't bother to put the Melman monsters over here, but it would be like more work to put Canaria monsters over here, and they, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I 
The raw that we all need and deserve use. Yes, Daddy will. Yes. Ooh, lesser tigers. Um, I'm gonna use use Blizzard on them. I feel like these guys can be pretty tough. Spank me with your rod. Yes, please. Not half bad. <laughs> uh, apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, get him! Because after this, I'm going to use the inn, go to the area, find the items, head on down, kill Lich, all that kind of good stuff. So... There's something to be said about keeping the integrity of the original game, but then there's also something to be said about bringing in much needed balancing and quality of life issues. And personally, I feel like they, number one, should have brought Exit down to a White Mage level four spell, and then probably brought Teleport from the, uh, Black Page down to probably level 4 as well, and made it White Mage, Black Mage, because having to go out of these, having to go out of these, dun having to go in and out of the Marsh Cave, and then in and out of the Earth Cave, and then later on in and out of all these other freaking caves, like... It gets real old real fast, and I feel like moving Exit down to level 4 would allow you to use it for the Marsh Cave. And then moving it down to Mages instead of Wizards would allow you to use it whenever you need to as well, you know? I feel like the balancing from the PSP version is essentially what we're getting here as well. Um, except we're getting small charges rather than MP. Like, like, we got MP in the PSP version, but here we get the spell charges, so it's more in tune with the original version, you know? Oh, I need to put fast forward on. <laughs> I was like, why is this battle taking so long? My god. Whew. There we go. Much nicer. It just suck that Melman doesn't have an item shop. Like, it just sucks. Come on, Black Mage, if you can get some agility here, that would be great. <sighs> kind of DG Synchroman, kind of a, twi uh, a tweaked NES version. It's kind of like a conglomeration of all the various versions that I've seen so far with PSP rebalancing. But NES spell charges or origin spell charges too, but then you get items like you have a million freaking items that you can look into and use. I didn't buy life, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of Phoenix Downs. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these, uh. Um, yeah, keep on going. Oh, that's fine. Um, I guess I don't need potions if I have one. Um, might as well. I have so much money. Who cares? Um, antidotes are good. Let's buy some gold needles and buy eight of those, so I have ten. Buy some of these. Fully restores. This is good enough, I think, for right now. Buy some tents. And then ethers. There we are. Okay, I think that now we should be fine. Yeah, I think I got pretty much everything that I'm going to need as far as items are concerned for probably, I would say, the rest of the game. Hopefully. Although, as we get more money, I'll buy more ethers and other crap. But I've gained 60,000 gold just by halfway going through the Earth Cave. Now we're going to go full way down the Earth Cave, so I'm going to get a shit ton more money. I'll be fine. Although, I'll waste it all over on Crescent Lake. This is expensive. But then we have three dungeons in... We have three dungeons in Crescent Lake as well. So, 
will regain all the money that we spent in Crescent Lake as well. Okay, let's go ahead and use our inn one last time before we fight our first fiend. Yeah, there's no um, bonus dungeons that were introduced from the Game Boy Advance version. Hey, Plant Mom 3, cheers and thank you for the follow. Cheers, Plant Mom. <laughs> I'm giving an RPG economics lesson. <laughs> kinda sorta. <clears throat> kinda sorta me. I have not yet tried the shit mini game. I am notoriously horrible at the shit mini game. And I just don't want to. So. <laughs> Cheers, DG Synchroman, and thank you for the follow. Cheers. Oh, yikes. Uh, lots of enemies here. I'm going to use fire. <clears throat> Whoa! Cheers, Retro Turk Gamer. Cheers, and thank you for the follow. Cheers. If we don't support the local RPG shops, who will? No kidding. No one else buys these items there. Only me. Shop small. Shop retro. Okay. Oh, really, Retro Turk Gamer? Yeah. So, I was saying this before, but... For those of you who don't know, because it's shocking how many people come in and they just like randomly stumble upon my channel. And they're like, oh, you have a YouTube too? And I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably mention that I'm a YouTuber. Like, I, because normally well, I'm on YouTube and I'm mentioning the Twitch because the Twitch is so new, you know? So it's weird for me to be like, hey, I'm a Twitch streamer, but I also have a YouTube. It's just weird for me to say it that way because normally I just don't, you know? But yes, I have a YouTube as well. Follow the YouTube for fun YouTube videos and RPG youtube stuff. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm bad at it. I'm really even bad at like, this is just talking about it. I'm just bad at it in general. Okay, I need to go all the way over there. As more bats get in my damn way. A link to my OnlyFans. link to my Patreon, where I do post some... Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I don't have an OnlyFans. Don't. <clears throat> In the <clears throat> NES version... Oh my, oh my, <clears throat> sorry. Oh my. In the NES version, I know that the level cap was 50, but apparently it's been raised to 99. Apparently. According to Radia87. Whoa! So I will take her word on it. Okay. Okay, here. No, on Patreon, I pretty much just post like. I post, like, <clears throat> new videos or previews of videos or things like that. Sometimes I'll post and ask people questions, and then sometimes I'll post um, pictures of me if I'm, like, hanging out in the pool with some friends or um, having a game night or something like that. And lately, there is a Patreon-only chat discussion room thing in the Discord, and I go in there and I talk about more private aspects of my life in there that I don't want, you know, everybody to see over in general discussion. I just talk about, you know, more, more private stuff in there with a more limited crowd. <clears throat> Only the sexiest pool picks. Yes. <laughs> Hmm. 
That's true, Retro Turk Gamer. Yeah, that's why I keep it kind of private in the, uh... In the Patreon room, rather than, you know, everybody to, to see. <clears throat> Oh god, the Tal Orgy. I forgot about that. <laughs> that story has been told. <clears throat> we do not need to tell it again. Yellow Tals. Gay people. Orgies and alcohol. It's all you need to know. It's all you need to know. Okay, so we made it back here. Now we have two more stories. Or, yeah, two more floors, I guess, of the, uh, the Earth Cave to go through. I washed them! They're perfectly fine! I'm not gonna burn perfectly good towels. My god. That, that place would have been glowing, Daddy Ban. Glowing. I mean, okay, there we go. So, in the original version of the game, I remember that the music would kind of change down here. It would get a little bit more ominous, but then also the floors would get a little bit darker as well. Let's use Kilara. But it looks to me like the floors aren't getting a little bit darker. Um, it just seems the same to me. <clears throat> Man, this is nice! These cockatrices, like... Oh, never mind. <laughs> they must have gone from, like, a 50% stoning rate down to, like, a 10% stoning rate or something, because... What the hell is it? Oh, there, there, there. Because they're really not, like, stoning me as much as they used to. Hmm. Let's see, go this way. Man, it's constant cockatrices! Leave me alone! Urgh! Well, the funny thing is, like, I have plenty of towels. It's not like I have a dearth of towels or anything. I just... I don't know. I was just raised not to be wasteful, I guess, and I just couldn't... I couldn't burn towels just because of that. I mean, you wash them with some bleach, they're perfectly fine. Like my grandmother was raised in the in in the depression and she raised my parents to be or my my mother I guess to be frugal. Um my father was also his, his mother and parents were raised in the depression too and then my parents raised me with that same kind of frugality. Um you know the whole penny saved is a penny earned sort of thing and all that kind of stuff and I just you know that's just the way I was raised I guess. Um uh, let's see. Let's use Use another heal. It's really only Daddy Hoff that needs the curing, though. There we go. Perfect. Oh, these monsters. Ooh, we have extra little. Let's use. Use Blazara on them. I mean, there's some things that I'll save money on, some things that I won't. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'll spend money on really good, this is disgusting, but really good toilet paper. It makes a difference. Like, you spend money on stuff like that, you know? Um, but like, you know, and I spend money on like, you know the paper towels that have the extra little perforations down the middle so you can rip them into the extra like it doesn't it's not one big square you can get the little rectangle and everything i spend money on the good paper towels as well move out of the way but like if i'm buying like i don't know a can of peas at the store i'm not gonna go and buy you know i uh, I don't know, the, the Jolly Green Giant brand of peas, whenever I could buy the Walmart brand of peas, because peas are peas. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't really care, you know? 
It's like that one time whenever I was, uh, I was making a, um, a Jack and Diet, and y'all made fun of me because it wasn't real Diet Coke, it was the Sam's Club, Sam's Club Cola Zero, or whatever the hell it was. But to me, it's the same fucking thing, so I was just like, you know, whatever. And then Serena donated, and she goes, go buy us some real Diet Coke. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> uh, we love a store brand moment. Yes. Let's see. So there is a... Okay, there's a room in the bottom left it looks like I need to go to. Okay. Oh, hey, Jeremiah Nickel. Quick check-in before you head off to work. Hope all is well. All is well now that you are here, Jeremiah. I'm glad that you're here, and please do have a good day at work. We're just here, drinking our juice, having a good time. <laughs> you're a Judge Judy and a Diet Coke snob. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Hey, Donkey Kong! I am doing good! I'm doing very well. We have ripped four... Four shirts! We've done a No Pain No Gain, where I did some bicep curls. We've finished a can already. We're almost done with this can, shockingly enough. And we did a shot! We did a shot as well. Because Daddy Jimmy wanted me to drink! I did, Serena. I went out and I bought it. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. I did. Oh! Daddy Jimmy is saying that I'm too sober. He wants somebody to kill him so that... So that... He can give me a sh You know that even though you're stream boss, you're still allowed to give me shots. You can still donate the 5,000 and still take a shot. I mean, it's like... It's, uh, you can still do it! I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. I need to heal again. What am I doing? Um, Kira on you. Let's get some cures down here as well. Not really using any of the diarrheas that I have. Okay. There we go. You blew your load too early. Oh my god. Mess! Mess! It all tastes the same to me. Ugh. Fucking bats, I swear to god. Oh, diet soft drinks! <laughs> I wasn't even getting where you were going, and I was like, what is he talking about? But no, diet soft drinks. Man. Man. I do feel a little bit too sober. I do need another drink. Hmm. Yummy. Yummy! Oh, this paralysis. Come on. Okay, perfect. Every time that I fight these monsters, like these, uh... Every time I fight these monsters and these chests, it's like... I have plenty of Faraga. I'll use one. Whatever. Plenty of Faraga. <clears throat> oh, come on. Ugh. Yikes! Oh shit, it's an Ogre Mage! I didn't even realize that. It was a stronger ogre. 
All right, so as I was saying, every time that I fight one of these, uh, let's use a uh, Hilara. I feel like the reward from their treasure chest is just not all that good, you know? It's just not all that good. Hey, got the Blizzara in now. Cute. Nice. Ah, oh, Mithril Shield. That's probably the best reward I've gotten so far. Not bad. Okay. Just attack! Hey, sup one bun! How are you doing today? We're on the fourth floor of the Earth Cave, heading on down to fight Lich. I'm gonna be heading on over to Crescent Lake. Yeah, just don't have asparagus beforehand. That's 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 no bueno. Pineapple's good. Pineapple, coconut, mango, any of those tropical fruits will, will do you well. I eat asparagus. It's very healthy. I love asparagus, rice, and chicken. Let's see. Oh, let's see. You have poison. Get rid of that. What are we doing on cures? It's still not dark. And there's no treasure, no rooms, no nothing here. But now you can fight Earth Elementals just in normal encounters. They're no longer guarding chests and whatnot. Put some asparagus into an air fryer. Ooh, yum e. A little bit of olive oil or something. Wrap it in some parchment paper, some olive oil, salt and pepper. Oh. My. Yes, please. Man, I wish you could kill the bats. That would be great. You have to wonder where all this sand comes from in this earth cave. Asparagus Spears, the lost sister of Britney Spears. <laughs> So I am invited to a pool party on Sunday, and I'm considering going. It's uh, it's like a 60s themed party. It's my friend Dana's party, and he's turning 60. So he's having a 1960s themed party, and uh, I think it'll be fun. I just don't know what to wear, you know? Like, what do you wear to a 1960s themed pool party? Because it's like you just wear your swim trunks, but then you're going to take off whatever costume you wear. It just doesn't really... I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. Yeah, it'll be fine, Evil Knight. Uh-oh. It's Lich! Yikes! Does it say what he's... Oh, let's, let's, let's compare dialogue. Let's compare dialogue. The fiend's ball cracks open. An ominous cloud rises. And an evil shit... Sh shape congeals. It is Lich, the fiend of Earth. The this text is so tiny I can barely read it. But anyway, we have boss time against Lich himself. Let's use. Do I have no fire? I oh, but I don't have any charges of no blaze. That sucks. Um, we use diarrhea, and you attack, and you will use a haste. Yikes! Yikes! Huh. Whoa! Yoroshiku Anna Games has followed. Cheers, Yoroshiko. Cheers, thank you. Attack, uh, you. Do I have a heal? Good, heal. You attack, you got a haste going on David as well. Man, that ice was pretty bad. Okay. 
Okay. Oh shit, he hasted himself. Well, hell. Okay, uh, what else do we got going on here? I'm gonna use a Null Frost. You attack and... Got my guys hasted. We'll use Faragus now. Eight hits. Nice. Ooh, 271 from that. That's not bad. Don't care about the slow. I want to miss Toph anyway. Um, I could use a Dia. Does anyone need curing? I'm going to cure a Poth. And yeah, more Faragas. Hey, we got him! Woohoo! Awesome! Sweet! Lich is down! Huh. Not bad. I remember dying to the Lich on the NES and having to go all the way back through the cave. I was not a happy camper. We got Earth's Blessing, little achievement there. And yeah, finally lets you leave. So that's at least one nice thing you don't have to walk all the way out. My God. Although letting you leave earlier like that, or the the easy escape or whatever, that was in the original game. It's after all the crystal altars, actually. Oh, I went the wrong way. Damn. There's a song called Moist. That's a new one. I was not aware of such a song. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm getting so much experience and so much gold. How, how much gold do I have? Wow. 70. So when if we went back to buy items, I had 60,000 gold. Now I own 80,000 gold. Man. I'm doing well. Also, I have to ask, is there anybody out there in the audience who is like a super fan of Final Fantasy 2? They are, they are ju they just know every little thing that there is possibly to know about Final Fantasy 2. Is there anybody out there like that? Restore to the crystals. You can check which status your party has? Oh, yeah, 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 because they were glowing with the haste. That's true. Oh. Hey, you know who, first time chat from a viewer. Not myself, but my brother has way too much knowledge on it. It's his favorite. Gotcha. To me, it's more like a saga game than anything else. And I don't really have much knowledge on it. Um, I know that if you equipped a weapon, it makes your magic worse. I know that, like... So, like, if you make Maria a spellcaster, she shouldn't have any weapons on. She should just be wearing, like, dual shields. For evasion. Like, I know stuff like that. I know that if you cast white magic and black magic on the same person, it kind of wonkifies the stats, so you should have one white mage and one black mage. Like, I know weird stuff like that. Um, but I honestly just don't know that much. As far as weaponry is concerned, I imagine I'm gonna leave Maria naked and let her cast spells. I'll have Furion, use swords, and Guy, I don't know, axes? I really have no idea. Like, I just, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the game. I've, I've beaten it before. Um, and I bought Origins. But whenever I bought Origins, I bought Origins of Final Fantasy 1. And I bought the PSP version, but I never actually played it. And it's just like, I've played the NES version. 
And that's it. That's it. So, I don't know. It's just like, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna try to not grind and just kind of play it normally. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I was just wondering if anybody else had any kind of hints or, you know, any kind of secret, secret knowledge about the game that I wasn't aware of. Like, if I keep Maria with, with no weapons and just shields, and then I give Fury and swords, what weapon should I give Guy? I'm thinking axes, just because, you know, it just makes sense, I guess, for axes to go on Guy? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's a better weapon out there. Beats me. No idea. That whenever I played it, I would grind on myself, but I've heard that that's actually counterproductive, so I'm not gonna do that this time. We'll see. I really have no idea. Okay! We've made our way to Crescent Lake, and... Yehuno is now following. Cheers, Yehuno. Cheers. Thank you. Mm. And that finishes... That camp. So we have another follow, another subscribe, another donation, another cam. We got anything new here? Looks like it's all the same crap. Probably all, I imagine all item shops have the exact same crap everywhere. <clears throat> Ugh, I don't even want to think about Final Fantasy VIII. I hate that game. Okay, metal gloves. Like, I would play Final Fantasy VIII, but... I don't want to. Whoa! <laughs> Cheers, Daddy Ban! Cheers to a new can! Yeah, you would do the, uh... Oh, what is it called? It's, um... A beer harem? A drunk Discord just play a drinking game with some viewers, subs, whatever. Nah, I'm good doing this. I'm good doing this. Not really sure what a beer harem is. Wait, do I need it? Okay, let's sell that. Okay. Okay, so I'm out of the... Uh, what kind of weapons do they sell here? Yeah, I, I know that you can do some sort of, like, card thingamajigger with Kezekwaddle, and, uh... Oh, that's nice. Mythical Sword already has that. Mythical Axe. 2325 for more accuracy. I'll buy the Mythical Sword. Yeah, you do, like, the draw card thing with Kezekwaddle, and, um... That gives you things, but I would... Oh, yeah, the card mod. Back whenever I played, I would sit there and draw from every single... Monster. And maybe hate the game. It wasn't the only thing that made me hate the game. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to hate that game. Not just having to draw from every single freaking thing. Hey, Poops! How are you? Glad to have you here. You've missed four shirt rips, a shot, and we are on can number three. Okay, so we can't get Exit. We can get Protecta and then Visa. Okay, so we're gonna get Visra, Terra. Can't get frickin' exit pissing me off. Urgh. Oh, thank you, poops. Thanks to poopsie whoopsie patootsies. Okay, we're gonna grab this. Kills one enemy. Screw that. Paralyzes one enemy. We'll do Quake. Okay. There we go. Yeah, poopsie whoopsie patootsies. <laughs> uh, I love my poops. Ah, this is Lucan, the pirate, apparently, not the sage. The pirate.
So we've been told to see Luke on the stage the entire time, and he never really says anything to us. That's just lovely. So you could have came here before fighting Lich, like if you didn't know where to go or you were just wandering around or whatever, you could have easily come here, but you wouldn't have been able to move on with the other dungeons in the Crescent Lake area. Ah, so the Fiend of Fire is sleeping in the Golg Volcano? I thought it was the Gurgu Volcano. Ah. So, now we get the canoe. If you came here earlier, before defeating Lich, you would not be able to get the canoe. Yeah, everybody's been telling you this is Luke on Guy ever since Canaria, and you get here and you see him and he's a frickin' pirate and he doesn't tell you jack frickin' shit. Ugh. Okay, what I kind of want to do is, what, do I need to use the inn? Uh, let me just look at my magic. Did I already use the inn? Let's get out of here. Let's go, go, go! And let's save. And let's go back to our boat. Because we ain't waking up the fiend of fire. Fuck her! We're gonna be doing our own thing! Screw her! We're always getting- I didn't target- Wait, did you cast- Oh! Damn you, Jeff. Wasting your fires. Oh, choice! Okay, we're gonna use poison, there we go. Isn't Metal Max that game on the SNES that was translated, but it was only released in Japan, but then it was translated into English? But it's very, very, very open world. Isn't that what it is? Am I kind of somewhere sort of on the mark with that one? Yeah, the tanking RPG one. That's what I figured. Yeah, Japan only. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. But, um... I am not really a fan of open world games in general. Not really a fan of the Saga, Uncharted Waters, Metal Max, open world in general stuff. Um, not exactly my favorites. Where is this place? Oh, it's all the way over there? Oh, let's go. Yikes! All these frickin' gay pirates. Man, they're all over the place. <sighs> okay, going through the peninsula of power. I actually did a stream of Symphony of the Night. You know who. Oh, I just got your name! You know who! Oh, I just got that! Okay. I'm slow. What can I say? <laughs> I know the water does look good. We were talking about that last time, Poops. The, the water looks fantastic. I love the way that they made the water look. It's great. Okay, so we go over here. This is the, uh... The Mirage Desert, I'm gonna deal with that. Does this give me a map? Is there a map here? There is a map here. But we wanna go all, you know what? I sh I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid. So look at this map. The map wraps around. Crescent Lake is literally at the bottom of the map. The Castle of Ordeals is literally at the top of the map. And what did I do? Look at the map. There's Crescent Lake. I could have just driven I could have just taken my ship straight down. And I would have been at Castle Ordeals. 
But no! I went all the way up. All the way around. Yeah. That's just loverly. There is not a ship put there, evil pirate. As someone tells you in one of these random NPCs or whatever, that you cannot, um... Whoa, what's happening? John Rayosh has subscribed. Cheers, John. Thank you. Ugh. Fuse. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, God, I probably should have used the end. Um, but you slow. That's fine. Yeah, as a kid, I kind of used to do this, too. Because you can land your ship on the on the little river, on the little canal thing there. And you can come up here. Now, you cannot do an early class change. Because you still need the airship in order to get a class change. However, you get some very nice items inside of the castle of ordeals so it does make your trip through the ice cave and the gurgle volcano so much better okay let's go ahead and use our save there we go okay oh, there we are whoa poop bros gifting one cheer one sub to my channel they gifted nine subs in the channel cheers poops poops ch Cheers to poopsie whoopsie batootsies. Cheers. And I only say that because he's super cute. Have you seen a picture of Poopro? I'm just saying. Super cute. Sit upon the throne. It's a test of island courage. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Oh, let's look at our map. So this is the only way to go. So, the Castle of Ordeals is the original teleportation dungeon. Um, it's not that bad, though, because you literally just go down. You just go straight down. So it's very, very, very simple. How well would I do against Star Tropics? I would not mind putting Star Tropics on a, um... Oh, it's a horny devil! Excellent. I wouldn't mind putting Star Tropics on a, um, pole one day to do. Um, I wouldn't mind doing it if somebody made it as, like, a, a 100,000 point stream request thingamajigger. Um, I played... Whoa! I played Jimmy Fink! Cheers, Jimmy. Whenever he does that, it always reminds- you know, like, you, you, you must have read the stories of the people who, like, pay out of spite, and they'll, like, put a bunch of pennies into, like, a wheelbarrow, and then they'll, you know, wheel the pennies onto- up to the- up to the merchant or whatever, and they'll just dump it on their front door. Whenever I see all those little things, I'm like, oh, it's this wheelbarrow full of pennies. <laughs> it's the first thing that comes to my mind. Okay, down we go. And lower one. You don't even look at a map if you know this. You just literally just take the lower path. I know, Jimmy just wants to die. Daddy Jimmy says, kill me! Kill me, Dad! He just wants to get me drunk. I mean, nothing wrong with that. God, I got so drunk last Friday. So drunk. Oh, 69 pennies. Exactly 69. All that for, like, this is like the most, like, precious looking potion I've ever seen. All surround. Are you fucking for real? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, that's crap. 
It doesn't give him my damn potion! Oh, I'm pissed! Oh, I'm pissed! Oh, I'm so pissed! Oh, I can't believe it! What a complete ripoff! And I went back into the thing and I used my potions so that I could get my potion, but it didn't give me my potion! Oh, I'm so upset right now! Oh, I can't even stand it! <laughs> Keep on going down! Oh, it's a Minotaur zombie. Um, where's your diarrhea? Oh, you only have one left. Uh, we'll go here with your diarrhea. Braddy bottom mode and I am not a Braddy bottom! <laughs> Ugh, they're so mean to me. So mean to me. Is there anything over here? Oh, that's still good. Wait, where's this gonna go to? Braddy Bottom Road is always active. I'm sure Ken would say the same thing. I'm sure he would. It's surprising to me. Oh, no, there is a little map here. But I think I need to use that one. It's passionate on here. Yes. Oh, shit! Over here looking at maps in the room. Light me on fire and crap. All right, let's get this thing. Let's just figure this out. Woohoo! Wait, did they rename this place? Is this place called the Citadel of Trials now? And not the Castle of Ordeals? I much prefer Castle of Ordeals. Get him! I will say, I feel like physical attacks aren't that good in this version of the game, and magic is the way to go. I feel like my black mage is really carrying this party. Like, is it just me? I feel like just comes in with a spell cast, and boom, everything just like, like he just kills everything. Um, let's use Cura. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that the black magic would be that much more powerful, but it just seems really powerful. Oh, uh, we're not class changing today, Bluey. There ain't no way. In order to class change, we'd have to get the airship and everything else. Oh, but we do have a healing staff. Now, I think that anybody can... Let me... I'm gonna have to check this. I feel like anybody can use that healing staff because you don't have to equip it on a certain person. Let's use diarrhea. And let's check this out, this healing staff. Yeah! Okay, so anybody can use that! Nice! Nice! Not bad at all. Oh! And because of auto ba Oh, this is gonna be great! Oh, this is gonna be great! Oh. My god. Y'all don't know. Alright, so let's, let's... What did I just get? I don't even remember what I just got. I literally just got it. I don't remember what the hell I got. What did I just get? Oh, a ruby armlet. No, I got something else. Yeah, this... Oh. Worse. So the ruby armlet, I'm gonna give to... Her. Because apparently she's my tank in this game. Who knew? Um... But yeah, I'm gonna get a Thor Gauntlet. This is gonna be fantastic. This is gonna be fantastic. Let's do this. If I have you use the healing staff, and then you use Thundara. But the thing is, I can set it to them for auto, and then she could heal every single turn. And then I could give like Thor's hammer to other people, and they could use that every single turn. Hey, RPG hero. Hello, and goodbye. This is gonna be fan fucking tastic Yikes, clay golems! Um, you can keep on healing stuff. Do I have, a, like, a really good... Yeah, Faraga. We'll use that. We'll use that. That'll be good. 
Oh, thank you, RPG Hero. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it, and I'm glad that you liked it. Make sure that you go back and watch all the other videos, too. And then you like them. And then you comment on them. Because if you don't, I'll hunt you, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the gauntlets. Cool. So the gauntlets... Let's see. Is this still another fighter only? Wait, where the hell are the gauntlets? Yeah, they cast Thundara, but no party members can equip this. I guess this is like a thief only or maybe an upgraded thing that you can have. Um, can you... You can't... Oh, sort. There it is. I was going to say, you can't sort. Let's do a custom sort. Cheers, Daddy Jimmy. Cheers. Ah. I keep on spilling. I keep on spilling. Bye, Bluey. So if I sort, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do healing staff here, gauntlets up here. That way I can just continually use them like all the time. That would be so nice. Oh my god. They're going to be fantastic. Hey, we got the rat's tail. Cool. And this guy goes, no! None shall pass. Okay, um, no diarrhea. Uh, we have regular Dia, and we still have a Faraga. Perfect. Hey, Flame Saber. I don't need no luck. I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Whew. We already got one down. Woohoo! And away we go. Oh, this little sage guy isn't here to congratulate me. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's all pure skill. Yes. I have heard of Rivia the Promised Land. Everyone just likes to ask me all these questions. I have heard of Rivia the Promised Land. Um, I have played Riviera the, Riviera the Promised Land, but no, I did not enjoy Riviera the Promised Land. I always feel like somebody's trying to, like, catch me or stump me. Hey, David, have you heard of this super obscure RPG that was only released in Japan like Mad Max? Uh, actually, yeah, I have. Hey, David, have you heard of Riviera the Promised Land, that obscure sting visual novel thing that was god off on the Game Boy Advance? Yeah, actually, sure, I have. Like, it's it's like, it's like, it's constant, like, stump the teacher, you know? <laughs> I don't have to like everything, but believe me, I've heard of them. This is great. This is great. We're gonna keep, we're gonna stay at maximum HP constantly because Serena's gonna be healing, and uh, yeah, last rebellion I have it sucked the end, and uh, <laughs> like this is fantastic. We're gonna be at maximum HP. We're gonna be casting the gauntlets with Black Mage every single time too. Like this is ridiculous, man. Oh look, it's the Rukahan Desert. Can't really do anything there though. It's kind of surprising that the fighter's the fastest one. I almost feel like I should have the fighter using the gauntlets. No kidding. You go in there, you get this staff, you get the gauntlets. Easy mode engaged. No kidding. Like, I could just put this on auto for, like, the rest of the game now. Like, we're never gonna die. Watching closely over me. What song, Daddy Jimmy? What song? I Need a Hero by Bonnie Tyler. <clears throat> I haven't heard this song in ages.
Oh, this intro is long, isn't it? Uh, hopefully I can get through this. Oh my god, I need a hero. If this would, like... Where's the... Oh. Where is the song? Where are the lyrics? Holy crap. Man, this intro. Where have all the good men gone? Where are all the gods? Where's the street lies Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon the fiery steed? Late at night I toss and turn and dream of what I need. I need a hero. Holding up for a hero till the end of the night. And he's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the morning light. And he's gotta be sure, and he's gotta be soon, and he's gotta be larger than life. Okay, we got through that first lyric, thank god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I, I, whenever you said Bonnie Tyler, I was thinking um, you were gonna do a total eclipse of the heart. One more? I don't normally do one more. I normally do one lyric and then I'm done. Uh. There's a Shrek version? There's a... I, I wasn't aware that there's a Shrek version. I've only seen Shrek once, but I don't know. I'll do one more lyric of this version, because I actually know this version. <clears throat> so after midnight in my wildest fantasy Somewhere just beyond my reach, there's someone reaching back for me. Racing on the thunder and rising with the heat. It's gonna take a like a superman to sweep me off my feet. Need a hero. I'm holding out to a hero to the end of the night. And he's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be fast, and he's gotta be stressed from the fight. I need a hero! I'm holding out for a hero till the morning light. And he's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be fast, and he's gotta be larger than life. I am done. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that was rough. Okay, I'm glad that you were satisfied, Daddy Jimmy. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, thank you, Eagle Knight. And we have made our way to... Oh, let's actually... Do I even need to use... I don't think I even need to use a tent or anything. Because I'm not even using magic. Like, this is crazy. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. Let's use... Um... Where are we at? Where the hell are my healing potions? I could use a high potion because I can't find the regular healing potions. But yeah. It's been two hours! It's been six o'clock! We are at the Gurgu Volcano! So I think that this might be a good time to stop. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know. Dinner awaits. I need to have my dinner, too. I need to have my dinner. Ah, oh, Stefan Lasagna's here. Woot! Woot woot, you're here, I can't I'm here, but it's time to go. It's time to go. Let's see. Who is live? Who is live? I see Kenny is live. Doing his music. I see RPG fan comes playing Tales of Berseria. Neo Matter, Legend of Heroes. Forever KT is playing Psychonauts. Kraken is playing some Demon Souls. <laughs> oh, I got you. Hidden the Shadows amongst the Diary and Porn Talk. I got you. I got you. Games Done Quick. You know what? Games Done Quick is a lot of fun. Games Done Quick is speedrunning. 
and there's a lot of people watching games done quick. It's a it's speed running, and there's 2,500 people watching it. But they're, but they're playing Super Mario World, and it's always fun to watch a speed run. So I don't know if you guys would want to see that or not. But yeah, we're gonna go into the Gurgle Volcano on Friday, and we're gonna be doing the um, the Ice Cave on Friday, getting the airship and doing our class change on Friday as well. And apparently, I'm going to be drunk out of my mind because uh, Daddy Jimmy was threatening me with shots. I already did a shot today, but he's apparently saying, I'm saving them all till Friday. And I'm like, okay, Daddy Jimmy, okay. And he's going to get me drunk as hell. So I think it'll be fun to raid Games Done Quick. Let's see, slash raid. Games Done Quick. Boop. All right. Go raid, watch the speed run. It is a lot of fun. I like watching games done quick and things like that, whatever I am um, working out and stuff like that too. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. See y'all Friday. And, and so